Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Skyrim. Today, you know, the title I wrote down for this video in my notes is Skyrim Feels Alive and Dead at the Same Time. And that's what I want to talk about today. So, Oblivion did something um, where they really tried to make the AI feel alive in that game. And for the most part, if you're new to Oblivion, it feels very dynamic, very cool. You know, the AI definitely feels like it it's not just the shopkeeper is there or not. You know, you find the shopkeeper, they have their lives outside of their shop, stuff like that. Then with Skyrim, they kind of took it to the next level. I think Skyrim definitely feels more alive as, as Oblivion, you know, or more, more alive than Oblivion, but also feels dead still. And I think that probably comes down to just they were ambitious with the, the Skyrim. The, the Skyrim. But I think it, it comes down to... Probably the the cities, how they how they're run, and how the civil war and the wars are working in Skyrim. So, I definitely think the civil war is a big part of Skyrim feeling dead. You know, it's cool. It's like, oh, you have the civil war, and when you're participating in the civil war, the civil war feels very alive. You know, you gotta win these battles, push the guys back win the kingdom over, right? Whether you're Imperial or Stormcloak. But if you're not directly participating in the Civil War timeline, you don't even know what's going on. Like, I keep forgetting that Skyrim's in a Civil War. You know, when I play Skyrim, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, it's a Civil War. There's some Imperials, there's some Stormcloaks. You know, it'd be nice if, while the game was going on, that like, different holds would change positions, make it feel more alive. You'd find Imperials and Stormcloaks roaming the roads instead of town guards, and the town guards just stayed in the towns. And the towns are another thing that makes actually Skyrim, I think to me, feel alive, is that instead of just having a smith, right? Like, let's think of, not Riverwood, but Whiterun. Instead of having a smith, right, you have the smith on the inside, but then you have the smith on the outside. and the smith on the outside is doing stuff. She looks like she's making things. So Skyrim, like, it's just like, sometimes it's really alive, like with the smiths or the shopkeepers or the people wandering around and, you know, sometimes talking about random things going on. Like, I definitely think hold to hold, the people are talking about what's going on in the world. But... It's not quite to the level Oblivion had it, where I will say the conversations in Oblivion, everyone talked about the Oblivion Crisis, everyone talked about the siege on Kvetch. Like, it felt like they all knew. Whereas in Skyrim, it's kind of like a hit and miss. Alright, when you become the Thane of a hold, you kind of like don't get recognized, it seems. You're just like a normal person that can commit petty crime sometimes, you know? That's how it really feels. It doesn't feel like you're important. Like, no one comes up to you and like, oh my gosh, you're a Thane, da 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 da. You know? And, I mean, like, the Thalmor, you have no idea, unless you do the main quest, you have no idea what the Thalmor are even doing. Like, like, no one talks about them. No one talks about the Thalmor just coming in here, you know, being the Thalmor. It seems like. There's always, like, dedicated AI to talk to about it, but that's it, you know? But there's still AI to talk about it. That's the thing. It's not like the Thalmor are there and no one talks about it unless you do the main quest. Definitely people talk about them, but... I don't know. I just I just feel like Skyrim's world, they tried to make it alive. They didn't quite do it. It's because a lot, like, Thalmor coming in, Imperials, Stormcloaks, even the Forsworn, like, dynamic things should be happening and dynamic things aren't happening. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below, guys. That's really it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe for more Skyrim videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam post of whatever I decide to make.